Executing Autolisp statements one at a time is a great way to learn Autolisp, but isn't necessarily the most productive. A more productive approach would be to group Autolisp statements together using the defund function. You saw an example of this with the ddgrips command in a previous video. Here's an example of using the defund function to create a command that starts the zoom command and uses the previous option to restore the previous view. With the new command defined, its name of zp can be entered. Autolisp statements entered at the command prompt only affect the current drawing. So if you define a command such as zp in one drawing, it isn't available in any other drawing. To utilize Autolisp statements and commands beyond the current drawing, store them in an Autolisp file with the LSP file extension. Here I'm going to create a new Autolisp file to store a few custom commands. Autolisp files can be created and edited with Notepad. After entering the Autolisp statements, you need to save the file with an extension of LSP. Make sure to select all files from the Save as Type drop-down list. Then browse to the folder in which to save the file. Once the Autolisp file has been saved, you can load it as needed with the Load Unload Application dialog box. You saw an example of this in a previous video. If you want the commands defined in the Autolisp file to be available automatically in each new drawing, you can add the Autolisp file to the startup suite. After loading the file manually or automatically using the startup suite, you can use one of the three custom commands defined in the My First Autolisp file. Here I'll use the RV command to draw a revision cloud, and then the ZE command to zoom to the extents of the drawing.